Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we are back here with Madden 23 Franchise Mode, the Houston Texans rebuild. We are still trying to get through these playoffs and enjoying them, though, because we're getting some damn some damn good games. Um, this bitter rival rivalry between the Miami Dolphins and the Kansas City Chiefs in the playoffs on my channel is by far one of the biggest rivalries, playoff rivalries that I have built on this show. And this was their fifth time meeting, and it went in the Dolphins' favor just barely. Today, we're, we're watching the Lions try and uh, go against the Giants and try and, and upset the Giants. I think Detroit's always going to be the underdogs. Can they get out of the divisional round? Can they escape it? Um, I think it's going to take a lot of work, you know, a lot of uh, – I don't know. It's just going to depend on how they play, man. Um, <clears throat> as far as the injuries go, let's go ahead and check those out and see what they're dealing with. For the Lions, they're missing their starting franchise Hall of Famer center, Frank Ragnow. Um, big injury, shoulder strain. <clears throat> they're also missing Charlie Verdon, 24-year-old. Uh, not sure how much of a big impact he has been this year. Two-year veteran. He was a guy that he does see some act. He did see some action. Thirty tackles, two sacks. Uh, <clears throat> unfortunate to see him go. As far as the wild card matchup, he wasn't playing there either. And uh, you can see he hadn't hasn't. It's not that big of an impact. He had two two games, uh, two sack game against the Buccaneers in Week Eleven. To sum up his sacks. So not the biggest injury there, but still, you know, he's not going to be there. And then a backup running back will be missing as well with a broken wrist. Now, moving over to the Giants um, for injuries. Check them out. They're coming in healthy. So, <clears throat> we'll see here. I mean, I think it's a good game. I think it could go either way. Um, Lions will be playing in New York. Could possibly see snow. We're not sure yet. But 11-6 and six Detroit Lions taking on the 10-7 New York Giants. Let's go ahead and get into the game. I hope you guys enjoy. It's the NFL playoffs on EA Sports. No bigger stage than this one. Sold out MetLife Stadium located just outside of New York City. Coming up, an important divisional round matchup in the NFC between the Detroit Lions and the New York Giants. Alongside my partner Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you take a look at this Giants ball club. They come in feeling good after back-to-back -back victories. Meanwhile, for the Lions here, they come in on a pretty good roll here, winners of three straight. title game awaits the winner here as we're underway in the divisional round of the NFL playoffs. And he opts to not bring this one out. The first drive will start at the 25. So here are the Giants ready to start their initial drive of the game. And leading them out there, their 6'5 quarterback. And the quality of opponent goes up a notch here in this divisional round. But he's coming off such a sensational performance, I'm not sure he cares. Four touchdown passes in the last game. And you'd have to imagine his head coach would sign up for that right now. To throw is Harris. Throwing to start the drive. Left side here. That's complete to Godwin. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Back to throw. Harris firing quickly here. And that's complete. His first reception of the divisional round matchup, but it's good for a first down as well.
Looking to throw. Harris. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. 17 yards on the pickup there, and the drive will continue. I do have to admit, I... And now following that last play, I do believe we're going to get a review here. Yes, indeed, the red flag is out. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because it didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. They'll look to throw again. Steps away, to, and he will go down outside of the pocket for a sack. Tried to get away, but could not. Aiden Hutchinson buries him for a loss of 11 from his outside linebacker spot. Well, many times when you talk about mobile quarterbacks, you get the sense that they feel like they can get out of any bad situation. They keep moving around and trying to emulate guys like the scrambler or the dodger. Instead, they keep losing yardage and losing yardage and digging themselves a hole that they can't get out of. Now they're in some hot water now. After that sack, it's second and 21. They'll run for the first time with Saquon Barkley. All right, I got to ask you, with these RPOs, essentially the quarterback has three options, right? So what's different from that versus the triple option that we see the service academies run at the college level? As a general rule, the triple option at the college level, those things are called outside of the quarterback faking it to the runner and then keeping it himself and maybe having a trail back. What I mean is, in the NFL, that option to throw the football all comes about organically. It's a natural deal based on reads. In college, if you're gonna throw the football for triple option, you've actually called that play. Second down, here's Barkley again. Down to about the 22 here. Here comes play number nine now as they come up on a third and three. Operating from the gun, Harris. This is caught, touchdown! Saquon Barkley, a 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Giants are on the board first here in this division round matchup. So they take the opening kickoff and drive it all the way down the field. And that's the last thing you want defensively. On the road, in the playoffs, and now you're down a touchdown right away. Point after try, forthcoming. It's up, it's good, and the Giants have a 7 nothing lead. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it's capped off by a receiving touchdown from Saquon Barkley. This will be fielded inside the five. And makes it across the 20 as these guys were set up shop at the 23-yard line. So here are the Lions now as they get sent for their opening drive. And at quarterback from the University of Oregon, it's Justin Herbert. Any more that did his part in the wild card win with three touchdown passes. Now, he's going to get a bigger test here in round two, but his unit is in rhythm, and they're playing as well as they have all year long. I wouldn't be surprised if this defense, though, tried to get after him early with a little extra pressure. If he can handle that, he can have another big game, though. They'll start on the ground with Swift. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Right back to Swift again on second down. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. Two yards, good enough for a first. Well, we always talk about good down and distance, allowing offenses to expand their playbook. Well, second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. But a lot of times, the play caller, he just looks down at his sheet, sees the short yardage runs, and goes to one of those. Herbert on first down now. That's caught by the big tight end, T.J. Hawkinson. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A good pick up there of 20 yards. That's a pretty throw right there. That ball's in the air a long time, but it's right on the money on the right sideline. A really good route. 
moving the defenders towards the middle of the field before breaking to the sideline. What a completion there. Big time arm strength, very nice route. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now, first and 10 at the 47. Herbert. That throw taken in by Jamison Williams. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Swift going to try up the middle. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Herbert now. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. Herbert on third down now. He's got the connection to Moore. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. Really a solid start here on the opening drive, Charles. He's now 4-4, and they're already in plus territory. Brandon, he's been so precise to start this game. Like we're watching an operation taking place right now. Master Surgeon at work. And all the way down inside the 5 to the 4. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. So they gave up the early touchdown. This has been a pretty good response. Nice drive taking it down first and goal. And I know all the cliches jump in, right? Don't get away from your game plan too early. Make sure you're settled down. Don't panic. But it's all true, isn't it? Because otherwise, you get out of what you plan to do during the game, and it's still early. Don't get crazy because you gave one up. Just respond as you just noted. Swift. It'll be a three-yard pickup, and it brings up second and goal. Swift again. But he will not get to the goal line. In fact, he won't get to the line of scrimmage as they push him back to the two. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense. Countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big time play for their defense. From back at the two, here's third and goal. They will run it with Swift here. And he is going to lose yardage here. Not at all what they envisioned on third down. Three yards in the wrong direction. One word comes to mind to me after that last play, and that's alert. That defense took a chance guessing the snap count, and they were so right. Got great push up front, and that forces fourth and goal. Now Zane Gonzalez for the field goal try. From the left hash, a chip shot here. Gonzalez's kick is good, and they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But Holding. let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. A nice-looking play to start the drive down the middle and complete. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Up the middle with Barkley. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. They wind up losing a couple there, so they go behind the original line of scrimmage, and now third and 11 coming up. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, 
you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. We're backed up here. Tough spot. Needing 11 yards to pick up the first. Here's Harris to throw on third down. Man open. It's Tony. He's got it. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass in the first drive and comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. A really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought, yeah, he might be locked in for this one. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. So after the incompletion, second and ten from the 22. Barkley inside handoff. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. And the Lions going with an extra DB here on third down. Back to throw. Harris. Open man right side is Tony. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And the offense humming on the first drive. Not much has changed here on drive number two. No, and I think a lot of times confidence just really kicks in for a team. They may have been confident going into the game, but once you prove it on a drive, it's hard to get out of that mindset, isn't it? And look, let's face it, we can always lock in on the skill position, guys. But those big fellas up front, they're really making this offense go early in the game. Harris now on first down. This will be caught at about the five. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made it a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he could break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Here's second and two now from the three. Off play action. Harris. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Play number nine set to come here on the drive on third and two. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And he'll just toss it away. So he throws it away, and that brings up fourth down. And his kick here is good. And they push the lead up to a touchdown now at 10 to 3. So a nice kick there as they are able to add on to their lead. And that's exactly what you're looking to do. Maneuver yourself in the range. That way if your drive stalls out, you're able to get something out of it. And they do so right there. Take it in at the 3. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize. Like going to the county fair, you don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. 10-3 our score after one here on EA Sports. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. Now a first carry for their fullback. And he's going to get this past the 50 and into giant territory. And again, they'll go right back to their fullback. And a strong run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 35. They'll get a dozen there, and the Lions have a first down. I know a lot of times we like to put players in certain boxes. He does this, and he does that. But this guy, he can do a little bit of everything. He's not just a lead blocker or a guy who protects the passer. Handing the ball, he might want to get out of the way.
Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now it's Herbert. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big time run, big time pass. A one-two combination. Look pretty good. How about that? Let's see if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. Ryan Dable reaching for that challenge flag, and he's going to have Previous the official for this call. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. So not successful there on the challenge, and he'll have to be careful from here on out because he'll only have one challenge remaining. On first and 10, Herbert. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Hunter. And he is going to lose yardage here. Not what they had in mind there. That's going to go as a loss of four. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. To throw again on second down, Herbert. Open man, he's got him, the tight end, Hawkinson. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. And he is going to lose yardage here. That'll back him up two yards and also bring up fourth. A great job there by this defense. They give up the long drive, but in the end, it looks like they'll force a field goal attempt. Zane Gonzalez for the field goal try. This from 36 yards out. Gonzalez's kick is good, and that'll bring him back within four. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell us end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The New York set to take the field. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. Partner, he got the DB on his horse on that play. He certainly sold like it was going to be a deep route before breaking it back on the comeback towards the sideline. Big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Operating from the gun, Harris over the middle into traffic, and that's complete. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. Second and five. Here's a give to Barkley. And he's going to be stopped up at about the 47-yard line. The offense on third down tonight, they've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. Here it's third and three. He'll find his man on the comeback route. Complete. 
Another good completion on the drive as the Giants have a first down. Good sharp route right there. They're going to line him up out to the right. And since this is man coverage, his goal, find a way to get the defender to turn his hips. He's able to do so right there, and they get a connection for a first down. First down carry for Barkley. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and 10. On the draw, this is Barkley. Down to about the 22 here. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. Looking to throw. Harris. And this one dropped in the end zone oh, it looked like a touchdown but not to be and now it's fourth down and this one is right through and that'll open the lead up to a touchdown now at 13 to 6 so a nice kick there as they add three to the lead and from what I've seen so far Brandon I think they've been the better of the two teams here in the first half so even though you want the touchdown I think that's a nice job there to put three points on the board and that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. So here come the Lions now. And for them, maybe a little carryover from last week's game. They got the win on the road in the wild card round, on the road here again in the divisional round, but they're hanging tough. Hey, cue a little music, right? A little on the road again. I mean, this has been kind of the mantra they're under right now, and they can't change it. The season dictated what would happen with them, right? They had to go on the road for the first round for the playoffs. They're on the road again, and sometimes teams get really comfortable with that. Not only the idea of going on the road and shocking the world, but just, hey, it's just us. We don't have to worry about outside distractions. It's just us. Let's go play. It becomes that us against the world mentality, doesn't it? And while it may be overplayed, you know, in the media, it's real when it comes time to play ball. And he'll get this up only to about the 33. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Third and two, Herbert. He's got this complete to Williams. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they get five there on third and two. I like the call on third and two. They were geared up to stop the run. I like the fact they just hit him quick. A little slant route. All about timing there, partner. Yeah, the timing, everything well executed. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Here's Herbert. And he's got the hook up to Moore. And they're going to get this up to midfield. Well, they obviously read man coverage there, partner, and he got downfield, broke down the defender, made him what think. What do you mean by that? Bro? Yeah, he made him think he was going to run a different route, probably thought he was going to take it upfield, and then he curls back inside for the completion. Well, they've gone to their fullback quite a bit. He'll get it again. Yeah, he tries to keep the legs churning, but he's going to be stopped behind the line. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. After the loss, they'll come up second and 13. A give to the fullback on the dive. Give him two yards that time, and it's going to leave him with a third and 11 situation. Justin Herbert looking to pass. Flush to it, and he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Kayvon Thibodeau gets in there to drop him for a loss of 13 yards, and it's also fourth down now. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. On fourth down, here's Presley Harvin on to punt. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. Pulled in at the 24. 
A good work bringing that one back as he picks up about 16 on the return. And it'll be Giant football first and 10. And New York set to take the field. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, try to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? right. <laughs> not one that I've ever met. Okay, was it a breakdown in protection? Did the running back not pick him up? What does it really matter? Sometimes it's just a great play made by the defense. Big time sack. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Operating from the gun, Harris. To Barkley on the check down. For the Lions, an extra DB in the game now here on third down. Operating from the gun, Harris. He's going to rifle one deep left side. It's caught inside the 25. Touchdown, Giants. And sometimes you just got to marvel at how these guys can throw the football. He gave that everything he had, and it was right on the money. And you'd think on third down, they'd just be looking for something right beyond the sticks. And I think they caught the defense flat-footed as a result because they decided they were going to take a shot right there, and it ended up being a big play. Yeah, and you see the final number there on how far that ball traveled. Pretty impressive. Extra point splits the uprights, and the lead now up to 14. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it's Kadarius Tony who caps things with a touchdown reception. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. They'll run it here. This is their fullback getting the carry. And boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. He's airing it out for Williams. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. On the give, this is their fullback. And he'll be stopped at the 27-yard line, well short of the first down marker. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. On oh, is Presley Harvin now as he'll send this one away. Now, fair catch is called for and taken at the, we'll call it the 37-yard line. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Again, he'll drop to throw. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And that is caught. He's got it for a giant touchdown. Kadarius Tony. Okay, this is worse than I thought it was going to be. This is just a doggy. I'm sitting here, you know, um, watching this. And I think that's a catch. I, mean, I think that's a catch. And you just can't get out of the They really were determined to get a stop there. They just got done. Done, slim, and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave. Alrighty, and so with that, man, it's it's gonna be over. They they just took too long, you know. If they had more time, maybe. But there just isn't enough time for the Lions, and the Lions will be getting um, eliminated once again. You can start to smell it at this point in the season, can't you? You really can because the focus has been one game at a time, not looking ahead. To the NFC Championship for the first time in maybe ever on the channel. I can't really remember the Giants ever going. To an NFC Championship in one of my main franchises. Um, so.
So congratulations to them. And uh, I mean, it was a very good game. I mean, Chris Godwin though, he took an injury and he didn't come back. He still got that injury logo on, on his side. That'd be a huge injury to take right before an NFC Championship game. Um, they played great. Zimmer was out there flying around, helping get back and stuff, but you know, that's just not gonna. That's not enough. Not really gonna win you a game. You gotta have other people step up as well. And uh, overall, Giants just played better, man. You know, there ain't really much to say there. They played better, and um, now we're gonna be moving on. Now I'm trying to decide if I want to just keep these games solo games, or if I want to just throw this whole divisional round together. Um, I think what we're what we'll do is. In the future, we'll, we'll uh, separate them, or we'll put them together. But for this season, we're going to keep the games separated. So that's going to do it for this one. we got two more games, the Bills and the Jets, the Bears and the Falcons. So, <laughs> these are going to be some damn good games. And uh, we, we all know the Bills have had a lot of success on the channel, winning, uh, making it to an AFC championship and making it to Super Bowls and winning. The Falcons have had a lot of success. And the Bears, they've made it. They've made it too. So this is going to be interesting. But we know one team for the AFC. And we know one team for the for the NFC. The Dolphins, Giants are the teams that punch their tickets. Dolphins surprised me more. I kind of have my money on the Giants. But I'm not going to lie. I did think the Chiefs were going to knock off the Dolphins. But uh, two good games. One way better than the other. I think the Giants kind of dominated the Lions for the most part. Um, now, next game will be the Bills taking on the uh, the Jets. I'm pretty sure. Let me let me double check real quick. Playoff schedule. Yes, it will be the Bills and Jets next. So I'll see you guys there.